Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to implement this uh, function here called find by last name. We're in the middle of a process of creating a user database service where we can do the basic uh, create, update, delete, and edit options on a simple database. In the previous videos we've created this uh, find by first name function and we're going to simply create the second one called find by last name. You might not need to watch this video, as a matter of fact I challenge you to take a look at the code here and let's just uh, see if you can do it on your own. So copy the code and then uh, modify it to see if it'll make uh, any sense on last name. Then the final thing is to go into the username, uh, I'm sorry, the testing folder and instead of just testing by first name we're going to create a second one and test by the last name. So if you could do this, just pause the video and type your own code and see if you get results. When you're done, you should have results like this, where we have an array where everything in this first list has A in the first name, and then the second uh, results here looks like Paige and Nadella are both uh, A's in the last name. All right, well, if you're gonna to continue to watch, then we might as well get started. Let's take a look at the find by last name. Now, the only change that we really need to do is right here, where it says uh, find by first name. We're going to have the uh, find by last name, and then we have a question mark. The uh, statements should all work the same way, so I think that is the only change that needs to be made for this particular function. So let's save it, and let's go test it out. So I'm going to refresh my page, and you can see the results there. So that was probably the easiest of the remaining activities. So in the next videos, we're going to work on uh, the other options, the other methods. So it looks like find by ID is up next.